Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally reviewing this Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. I have had this in my collection since it came out, so what, about a week now? Um, but I just haven't had time to review it. So this is how it looks inside. It is so beautiful and I've played with it a little bit, so I have some thoughts. But today I'm going to do three looks with this and i hope you guys will enjoy it if you're new here i would love for you to subscribe down below and let's grab something to drink if you want i have still my water i'm still getting over like just i lost my voice and um just trying to take care of myself so let's get into the makeup let's start with some of these colors right here this is the color gratitude and I'm going to put this in my crease. Next, I'm going to take Aura right here. And this is a deeper matte that has a little bit of a burgundy undertone. And I'm just intensifying my crease a little bit. I kind of am going all the way in. I do have to say that those mattes blended in so nicely. I had absolutely no issue with that. Um, next, I'm going to take quartz right here. And I'm going to take it on my finger and put it right in the middle. This is a pretty color. It's, uh, it's not as sparkly as the other shades. It's just a pretty, um, just soft, uh, shiny metallic. It's not metallic. What would you call it? Shimmer. Now I'm combining those mattes again and just blending in those edges. These shimmers, like, look at those. They're so intense. I definitely think she upped her game with this formula. I will take Blissful and I will pop that in the center. just for a little bit of dimension. And then on my other finger, I will take quartz one more time and blend those two together. You kind of lose some of that color underneath if you layer it too much. So having like two fingers to work with is, it's better and easier. I'm going to take the color Aura and I'm just going to intensify the outer corner a little bit more. Taking Gratitude on just a smaller pencil brush and taking it under the eye. And then also intensifying the outer corner and a little bit of the inner corner. I will take a more precise smaller brush. This is actually an elf one. Um, it's a brow one, but this side fell the, like, the second I bought it, but I actually really like the other side of it. So I'm taking Aura one more time and just darkening up this corner right here and a little bit this. Right in the middle, I will take quartz. And then on top of that, I'm actually gonna take, um, what's this color, Blissful. But I'm gonna spray a tiny, tiny brush. Where's my sprayer? A lot of people have been asking me, what do I use to spray my brushes? And I use this. This is literally just water, like natural mineral water. But I love the sprayer. It's so easy and it's kind of, I would say it's cheap, but it's water. You could definitely get it from your faucet, so it'd be much cheaper, but that's kind of what I use to spray my brushes. So I'm taking Blissful, and I'm putting it right in the middle, right here. 
I'm taking it down just a little bit, that way it'll actually show once I have mascara on. I want just a little bit more precision uh, with that blissful color on the top. So I'm going to spray just a flat brush. This is a Morphe M124. Um, I don't use a lot of Morphe, but I actually really like this brush. And I'm just pressing this in. Now, will we get fallout with this? Um, yes, I should have done definitely my um, makeup after my skin, but I'm gonna wipe this off either way, so it's okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it here. I will put a little bit of highlighter in the inner corner. I've tried before putting this as a highlighter, but it's so pink that it kind of ruins my looks when I do it. So I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna put a highlighter, some mascara, and I'll be right back. This is the final look. I think it's beautiful. I kind of had to go take care of my kids for a second and it looked it looked unique but still like elegant. It didn't look like it was way too much and like I'm wearing so much makeup. It still looked like simple but with a pop that makes sense i'm really liking this um the quality of these shimmers are just so insane i think she did such an amazing she just upped her game so much with these shimmers i'm just super excited all right so this is the first look all right let's move on to the second look and do we want to go a little bit more pink um i just I just have so many options here so i think i will kind of go a little smokier maybe with these colors i'm gonna stick with the pink but introduce some of like this color looks amazing yeah it seems like it has a punch to it um and honestly you, you can you can just do so many looks with this you can kind of keep it with the pings here like all this area and that is a beautiful like topper that I just put on but it works so well with pinks see those two look stunning together um maybe I have to do four looks because I have so many options all right let's do a pink look um <clears throat> I'm going to start with the lightest one which probably won't even show on me but it picks up a lot and just gonna set this it's more for testing the shadow rather than the use of it um, actually this would be pretty just like a matte look with this all over i think that would be pretty because it's pigmented like it shows up that's nice okay then i'm going to take the color happiness which is the pink right here and Put this in the crease. Wow, that's super intense. All right, let's take the color Joy right here. And that color doesn't excite me much because I don't love pinks. But dang, it's intense. Like this is super intense. Look at that color. Wow. What that that's like a neon pink. It's it's beautiful. It really is, even though that's a lot for me. Um, you know, that color cosmic love. Is beautiful it's a little too intense for what I want what about this moon magic yes let's put that one so we have moon magic and blissful those two colors so I kind of think blissful would work the best but I've already used that one those are the two colors see how intense that one is it's like I can't even show you guys because it's blinding us so beautiful. I do think I'm going to go with Blissful on this eye again. Um, because I think I like the mesh between those two colors. 
kind of went everywhere, didn't it? Yeah. I think I put it too much all over my finger and it kind of took over the pink, but we'll fix that. And it's going to be more of a soft, just fairy-like look. And I definitely felt some of the glitter coming, like just falling off, which is okay. Okay, those two really do make a beautiful color. Um, I'm going to take this small brush with Joy and clean up this inner corner it's almost like blissful just went over as a topper so because of that i'm going to take a little bit of happiness and intensify my crease and then i'm going to take self love and put that in the inner corner area just to brighten this up slightly so this is just very soft pinky just a little bit of like sparkle a little dimension from that color blissful i actually want to try moon magic straight in the middle why not layer them like these colors are so intense i'm gonna add a little bit right here And just layer those two together. Wow. <laughs> I, I see myself in the monitor and it's just like beaming. I'm going to take joy and blend that in just a little bit. I do feel like I'm missing a little bit of depth in that outer corner. I don't want a lot. I just want a little bit of something because there's so much going on in the inner corner and middle. That I think I'm going to take serenity right here and just give give just a slightly deeper outer corner yeah it already looks better all right lower lash line i'm taking happiness and then a little bit of self love right in the inner corner And then I think I'm going to tight line a little bit with ma ma mantra, mantra right there. And use it almost like a liner. And I'm going to take moon magic on this tiny brush and glow up that lower lash line wow that color is so intense all right guys let me clean this up put some mascara on and show you guys the finished look all right guys this is the pink look and i think it turned out really pretty it's a very fairy like it has a lot of dimension and i actually kind of like it um i don't love pinks but it's pretty i i think the unique that color bliss for me right there is one that i just love and i want to use it in every single one of my looks i actually think i used it in every single one of the looks that i've done so far with this palette like in personal life too it's so beautiful and i think it just gives something unique to the eye so this is look number two all right guys i'm gonna take this off uh there's a lot of glitter around here so i think i'm probably gonna just take all this off and come back and i think i'm gonna do two more looks uh, I, I hate not having like one whole look put together um but I think there's so many options to do and so many different looks that I could create that I really want to do like a deeper one with these colors right here. And then this color right here, I've been wearing, um, I want to say two times so far, and it's so beautiful. Also, this deep one right here, there's just too many good ones. So I'm going to wipe this off and be right back. All right, let's move on to look number three. Three. So for this look, I think I want to play with this side of the palette. Um, I really like this color Energized. Like I mentioned before, I think it's stunning. So let's start with a color Precious. And I'm going to put it in my crease. Okay. 
that's a very cool tone color I like it I will however take gratitude which just has a little bit of warmth and I want to tone that coolness down just a little bit all right let me put my hair there we go um, then I'm gonna take energized and put this kind of all over the lid but here I'm gonna like towards the end I will take another color as well like oh, look at that color and this is more of um uh, it's not like a topper it's not it doesn't have sparkles necessarily it's just a very intense shimmer I love the tone of that next I'm going to take abundance which is this one right here and put it towards the end right here this palette makes me love cool tones because it's the the, the undertone is so beautiful that it definitely makes me want to reach for this palette then blend them together with precious. Of course, we need to put a shimmer on top of this. Uh, before I've done, of course, blissful because it's just so stunning. The moon magic is just so intense. I feel like it kind of takes over. And I really like the color energized. So I don't know if I want to put moon magic over all that because i feel like it's gonna take over i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna take blissful one more time and just use this right in the center and again on my other finger i'm gonna take energized and make sure i combine these colors so I'm using Blissful almost as like an in-between color, a transition between the color Abundance and Energized. Then I'm going to take Abundance again and just make sure I don't lose that color. I feel like I keep looking this way when I should look straight. Let's take Precious and take it on the lower lash line. And then I will take this mantra, maybe on a flat brush, because I do want just a little bit of smokiness under here. Taking a little bit of energized on my pinky and making sure I brighten up this part as well probably took it in a little bit too much I don't think I'm gonna put the color energized in the inner corner it's kind of my only option to put in the inner corner now if you're deeper in skin tone I think energized would look really pretty because it's it's like bright and I think it would look pretty all right what I'm gonna do next should I darken this up a little bit maybe a smidge just a little bit i'm gonna take aura which is this one right here it has just a little bit more warmth and i'm gonna put this in the crease i like that she's giving you like their cool tone but this has a little bit just more pinkiness in it just a little bit of warmth i feel like that made it look a little bit softer and not as grungy I think I'm gonna leave you here. I'm really liking this look. Um, I think I'm gonna put an in inner corner highlighter just to kind of blend those colors together, put my mascara on, and I'll be right back. All right, finished the look. I actually decided to tight line um, with black. I use my Pat McGrath, the black just liner, um, and I tightened the top and the bottom, and I just decided to do that little point in the inner area i don't know i just felt like it i actually don't do it often because i have such a curve in to my lower um or inner corner that it's kind of hard to do that point my it, my eyes just don't work well with that so it's kind of 
paint to try to do it because sometimes it can be a little too curvy and defeats the purpose but we've done that i kind of i'm liking it it's a little bit more unique but i just love this look i think it's so like the colors are so unique and the way that that color blissful works on top of any any shade i use is just amazing and again this and energized is stunning even this abundance is just it's so good so this is look number three all right let's move on to look number four and for that i am going to use these right here well not the pinks but like these i really want to put empowered kind of all over and maybe cosmic love on top of that I think that would be really pretty. Okay, let's start with a color Radiant, which is right here. So I'm gonna put that in the crease. Next, I'm gonna take Precious and deepen out that crease a little bit more. I'm gonna take it kind of high right here And then feathering it out. For this look, I think I'm going to keep it more centered and not necessarily a V at the end. I want that color empowered to kind of take over. Actually, let's just put that one on. Um, I know I'm going to have a ton of fallout, so wish me luck. Okay, we're doing good, not that bad. I'm trying to be careful and like push the product in and be gentle with it. All right, so I kind of put it like that. Not a ton of fallout. I'm gonna push all that. Um, now I will take a fat, flat, fat brush, a flat brush. And I will spray it just because I don't want it to fall out. And I'm going to take the same color and just have a little bit more control over it. But this color, it's so pretty. I'm going to slowly clean it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take a fluffy brush take empowered and what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna like work it into the brush because I need very little so I don't want any of that fallout I'm gonna work it into the brush and whatever I have left blend this in the crease my stomach's rumbling I'm not even hungry um, so I'm just blending this if I were to take this straight from here and not blend it into my skin, like I'll show you how much fallout I have here. I hope it will show, but I have like fallout all around here. That would all be under my eyes and everywhere else. So that's why I did that. Um, I'm loving this. I'm actually gonna take, mm, I'm gonna take a little bit more off of my hand and add just a little bit more here. I don't even want to put Cosmic Glove in the center because I like this, just like that. But for the sake of the video, we'll take Cosmic Love, which is so intense. Um, I'm gonna pat a little bit and just put this in the center. definitely is gives a punch to the look I'm being very gentle with this color um, it's almost like a topper for this and since we're here we're gonna take moon magic and add it right at the lash line I mean this is so intense I'm actually padding a little bit off and I'm putting it right in the center right here very little
it's almost more at the lash line and I'm not taking it up at all. Um, so I'm gonna take the same brush. Well, no, let's take this one that I already sprayed. Take Empowered and I'm just cleaning the sides, make sure that color Empowered is still showing well and it's blended into everything. I don't always want to do the same thing top and bottom, but for this look, I felt like I needed a punchy color there. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to wipe my concealer off, put an inner corner highlight, put a ton of mascara, and be right back. All right, guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I, I love it. I really like it. Um, I, I just love this palette. I had so much fun with this. I created so many looks and this is just scratching the surface to what you can actually create with these looks. I think I used every single one of these except that one right there, the Love Stone. And I will put it on top of this one. I already took my thumbnail snaps <laughs> because I was so scared that that's gonna mess it up and it'll ruin my look. Uh, but so far, I'm loving everything. This is a, the fourth look. Okay, let's try this color Love Stone. It's like a jelly consistency and there's beads in there. And I know there's people that have phobia or like uh, it just bothers them. They just cannot look at that. Um, I have no problem. When I look at it, I don't feel like, oh my gosh, that grosses me out. Not at all. Um, I think it's kind of interesting, but I am kind of rubbing my finger in there to try to get some of that product out. And this, I think it's probably going to be more editorial, like just for a cool picture. And then you kind of maybe wipe it off, um, because I'm afraid that it's actually going to ruin the makeup. So I'm going to try, try it on this side and see how it goes. So... Oh yeah, it's super sticky. It's like stickier than I, I thought and it's actually picking up the color underneath. Hmm. I have a feeling it's just gonna ruin it. That definitely ruined it. <laughs> It pulled all the color underneath. I was thinking that this maybe just by itself with something in the crease would look good, but definitely does not work with this. Probably wasn't smart to do it on such a dark color. So I'm gonna take Cosmic Love and just patch that up. Oh, patch that up a lot. Cause it's still sticky. It just, um, grabs right on okay this is messed up okay i do wonder if you could use that almost as a primer because it really makes the color so much more intensified but it doesn't the color doesn't stay on it i don't know if you guys can see i ruined my look all right i try to fix that um again i don't i don't see a purpose for this color except maybe just when you have nothing else something on your crease and then this all over that may look pretty um but even that it seems to be very sticky and it stays sticky i actually swatched it and wanted to see like does it ever set but it's still sticky and so i just i don't I don't know about that color. Again, I think a tutorial would be cool for like a picture to just have that gloss all over with a little bit of that almost iridescent, just sparkly goodness. But um, I don't know if it's user friendly or if it's just literally just for editorial purposes. As you can probably tell, I absolutely love this palette. Um, it is definitely my favorite from Huda, no questions asked. I actually really like the nude, like the new nude one. Oops, it is very well loved. I use it on a lot of brides and just weddings. Um, I really like it. I like that I have all those bats. The glitters are, I don't use them a ton, but I don't mind them. Um, they're a little tricky. But with a glitter glue, it's really nice. And then I have this one. This is a Mercury that initially I was like, I 
thought that these looked similar because, you know, they kind of have similar colors. Like you have some purples, like this is a beautiful purple. And, you know, you have, so this is from Mercury. This one is from Huda, from, um, what's this called? I don't even know. Oh, Rose Quartz. <laughs> But uh, you can see how like intense that color is compared to that one. Now she has this beautiful color right here. This is in the Mercury. And I really like that one. And that one also reminds me of Blissful. They're not the same, but it kind of reminds me of each other. Um, and then there's some pinks right here that are in here or they're similar, but they're not... They're not the same. I don't think that if you have Mercury, you have this one. Not at all. Actually, I think the formula in this one is just new and unique and so much better. It's so good. I actually really like the Mercury. I should wear it more. These browns right here are beautiful. Again, this teal color is so beautiful. Also, this one is stunning. Like, there, there's beautiful colors in here, but um, I think she upped her game with this one. I think it's even prettier, more user-friendly in a way, um, because all these shimmers, you don't have to wear for them. It's like punch right there. Uh, now make sure you do your eyes first because you will have a ton of fallout. Um, stunning colors. I'm so impressed. I just love everything about this palette. This shade I could do without, just like probably 90% of us. I, I'm not sure why she keeps putting them in this palette because I think last year when she did the naughty one, it did people didn't like that shade at all. People talk about it. Maybe that's why she keeps putting them in here. But loving this palette so much, I am excited to wear it. And I've actually loved Huda, the uh, the Jaguar palette. I, I was very impressed with that one as well. So I feel like she's doing something good with these palettes. I think they're, they're top notch. This is made in Italy, which explains the quality because it's amazing all right guys that is all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful entertaining relaxing um i'd love to hear your thoughts down below what do you think about the palette are you kind of over it i will be honest when i first saw it i wasn't really interested in it i thought it looked kind of like all the other ones but once i bought it and played with it i i love it so again, leave me your comments down below, your thoughts, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.